In this video, we will learn how to draw a cumulative frequency and we will also know the concept of upper quartile, lower quartile and median from a cumulative frequency diagram. Here you are given some marks of students of a class. The number of students who obtained from 0 to 10 is 4. The number of students who obtained 10 to 20 is 12. The number of students who obtained 20 to 30 is 14. The number of students who obtained a mark of 30 to 40 is 22. And the number of students who obtained a marks of 40 to 50 is 18. And the number of students who obtained 50 to 60 marks is 10. The exam was taken out of 60 and 80 students took part of it and the numbers here is given in this diagram. The marks x is given and the frequency f is also given. You need to draw a cumulative frequency diagram from this information. First of all, we need to find the cumulative frequency. For the first value, the cumulative frequency is equal to the frequency 4. For the second value, the cumulative frequency is 4 plus 12 that means 16. For the third value, the cumulative frequency is 4 plus 12 plus 14 that means 30 or I can say in that way 16 plus 14 equal to 30. For the fourth value, the cumulative frequency is 30 plus 22, 52. For this class, the cumulative frequency is 52 plus 18 that means 70. And for the last column, 70 plus 10, 80. Keep in your mind that the last value of the cumulative frequency is the total number of frequency and the interpretation of the value of cumulative frequency is number of students who obtained a score less than 10 is 4. The number of students who obtained a score less than 20 is 16. The number of students who obtained a score less than 30 is 30. The number of students who scored less than 40 is 52. The number of students who scored less than 50 is 70 and the number of students who obtained less than 60 is 80. The total number of students. Now we will draw cumulative frequency diagram to illustrate this data. For x equal to 10, the frequency is 4. For 10, cumulative frequency is 4. Here you can see that this is 10. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this is 4. For m equal to 20, cumulative frequency is 16. Here you can write marks as x or you can write is at m, no problem. Either one you can use. For m equal to 20, cumulative frequency is 16, 10, 12, 14, 16. For m equal to 30, cumulative frequency is 30. For marks of 40, cumulative frequency is 52, 40, 50, 52. For the marks 50, the cumulative frequency is 70. And the final case for the marks 60, the cumulative frequency is 80. And for 0, the cumulative frequency is also 0. Now I have plotted all the points here. I plotted cumulative frequency in y axis and marks x in x axis. Now I will join the line in freehand to obtain the cumulative frequency curve. This is our cumulative frequency diagram or curve or graph. From here, I can find several informations. For example, from here, I can find the value of median, lower quartile and upper quartile. To find these values, upper quartile, median and lower quartile, we need the values of 3n by 4, n by 2 and n by 4. The value of 3n by 4 is 3 into 80 by 4, that means 60. The value of n by 2 is 80 by 2 that means 40 and the value of n by 4 is 80 by 4 that means 20. We need these three values to find upper quartile, median and lower quartile. At first we will find the value of median. For median we will use n by 2 that means 40. 
from 40 i will draw a line parallel to x axis up to the curve then i will find the corresponding value this value is 35 that means our median equal to q2 is 35 we found our median now what about upper quartile and what about lower quartile for upper quartile we have already calculated 3n by 4 that means 60 we will find the corresponding value of 60 we will draw a straight line which is parallel to x axis up to the curve and we will find the corresponding value of x the corresponding value we can see here 41 42 43 44 so our upper quartile q3 is 44 upper quartile is expressed as q3 and median is expressed as q2 and what about lower quartile lower quartile is expressed as q1 and we find it from n by 4 the value of n by 4 is 20 we found the value 20 here so what to do now we will draw a straight line parallel to x axis up to the curve and we will take the corresponding value we found the corresponding value to be 21 22 23 so the lower quartile is q1 equal to 23 So this way you can find lower quartile Q1, median Q2 and upper quartile Q3 using a cumulative frequency graph and the process of drawing a cumulative frequency graph that I also showed here. I hope now you will be able to draw cumulative frequency graph from a frequency distribution and you can exploit the information of Q1, Q2 and Q3 from it.